Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a really, really, really cool owl with a glowing eye design and like the whole process of how to make it. If you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button and make sure to follow all my socials in the description. But anyways guys, enjoy the video. Alright boys, so we, we're here in Photoshop. Um, you could use whatever animal you want. I use, I chose to use an owl. Um, you could use a elephant or an elephant. You could use anything you want. You could like, legit do a raccoon, bro. Like, yeah, you could you could choose whatever you want. Um, but today we're gonna be using this owl. And I'm basically gonna try my best to, uh, probably not my best, but I'll try to, uh, show you guys how to make the eyes glow and make it all dark and nasty and nighttimey and yeah. Okay, so first thing you do is you gotta go into your adjustment layers right here and you got to click hue and saturation so then you scroll down. let me uh uh so since this is 4k image uh it's gonna take a while but you go to the hue and then you slide it like to the blues um and then you go to saturation but before you do this here let me just take this off real quick uh go here put the brightness all the way down contrast all the way up and then return it on and that's how it looks and then you gotta put this to like the right or something like that and you gotta put the brightness and contrast thing again you gotta put the brightness up again because it's kind of look bad and then you put this probably a little bit down so you probably want to put it like to something to something uh i'm gonna try to add a moon as well in the background um there's like a bunch of branches here so as you can see in the back you can look at that and then you want to control j this so let's try to mask out our, our eyes real quick and then we'll, we'll keep doing like the effects afterwards so basically just pen tool this out i hate pen tooling but we could probably just like use the curvature pen tool yeah all right never mind yeah there's like any excess parts we could just erase it afterwards too and then just control j after you make the selection now have your pc die out and then you got to do the same thing on this eye you know because they have two eyes so you pencil this one bro you know what i want to buy but side note i've been watching star wars recently and i want to buy a lightsaber bro kind of kind of random but yeah i want to buy a lightsaber oh no do not do that all right so we have our our um eyes so if you can see this already looks dope just with the eyes themselves so i think we're gonna pencil yeah i think we're gonna pencil the owl out you gotta be like exactly precise i mean i'm trying to like get this out so i'm not gonna like go crazy try hard on the pen tooling but i'm um, and if you guys have more time, then you obviously take your time on pen tooling the stuff. But for me, I just want to post this already. So also let me know in the comments. Um, I'm always like reading the comments when you guys, when I first post and all that. Um, good feedback so far. But uh, I base, uh, if you guys can like leave, basically the hardest thing about YouTube right now is like coming up with the ideas. So um, if you guys can like comment in the comments section, thingy ting ting tingy ting um if you guys can go and comment some good ideas some actual good ideas um i'll make sure to look at them because i don't know some of the ideas i saw so last time i posted uh, they were like you know you know um they're all right they're kind of like things i already came up with but i want like unique ideas not like stolen from other youtubers because i don't really want to do that um i want to do a series i, I want to do a series where like there's um where i basically like recreate your guys' work but um you know got it to says so he kind of already has that idea locked in, so i don't want to like you know copy him or anything i mean of course i could just credit him but now nah, i'd rather just have the the man have his shine but um yeah like let me know in the comments what ideas you have um i'm open to anything i'm desperate i'm desperate but uh yeah let me know in the comments again do, 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 do. like the video uh like the video uh but i have a banger idea i want to do too but i don't want to speak too much about it i don't want to just post it i don't want anyone to like you know, steal um we'll, we'll see when it happens me place moon okay before you do anything make sure to clip your mask that so it doesn't like affect anything else so now we gotta make this ting smaller and then put it right behind him okay now we gotta go to the freaking camera settings and then we'll do the ting perfect all right we need to add shadows okay so after you do some shadow work and you put the moon on the other side um you gotta paste in your background bap and then you got to go to the blur gallery right here filter blur gallery field blur and then you put the light bokeh and the color at around 50 50 round 50 thing bing thing percent and then you don't do that okay no 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 okay 
So you blur it. This moon is gonna look super weird right now, but we'll make it work. So I think I'm gonna add some contrast, brightness contrast on the whole thing, and then put brightness a little bit up. Maybe uh, put the sharp or the contrast a bit down on this all right here, and then you gotta. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have like uh, smoke brushes. But I'll try to link some in the description if I find any that are like free. But you basically just tap. You basically just like play some where you see fit. And then, well, if you guys are if you guys are following the tutorial, um, you're just gonna play some wherever. And then you gotta just like adjust them accordingly. And then you gotta, I think we're gonna add like a glow to the moon. So I might like put the smoke around the moon, like kind of like this. No, no, no. Uh, you could just like um move this so it'll like fit a certain degree or angle or thing around it. So we could do like kind of like these, and then. You you could just like turn it again so we could just like erase the sides uh, the lines and whatever and then just like lower the opacity for now um to be honest i don't really like this moon so here let me try blurring it so we can do the blur gallery um if i were you um i would always go to blur blur gallery instead of uh what's it called um like gaussian blur or any any crap like that um i just don't recommend you using anything other than um field blur because it just doesn't look good okay that's not what we want to do we want to put the exposure down because it's too bright probably like that and then you gotta put this thing up there you go the opacity down on that we could probably make this moon smaller overall maybe something like that or maybe we could do this and then we can like erase it where it's not like um showing on the moon so what we could do is we can make a layer mask and then just like put the fill down at um 35 whatever it's like sees you fit and then you basically just erase with the um eraser tool and then see if it looks good probably just like blur it out a bit and then we could probably put it back a little bit more down and then we should take this um layer right here control u it um and then put the thing a bit down the lightness probably put this a bit more up and then erase the bottom of that so that's looking pretty good right now it's looking pretty good right now um i don't know what's what this is doing here here let me erase some of this part probably some more down here too we could probably do something like that okay there you go and then i think we could go back on this um i think we can take the owl layer and then field blur it again um it's obviously gonna blur everything but what you could do is there's like these little i don't know if you see it on the screen but there's like these little um what are these things called thumbtacks you could place it it'll probably take a while okay so the next thing you want to do after doing like the moon thing maybe we can make this a bit brighter actually <clears throat> okay we could take the owl right here and then you can go to filter blur gallery field blur or actually not field blur you can uncheck this right here you can check the iris blur go under this thing here and then this like radial thing shows up you can like move it like uh horizontally vertically you can move it like this you can make it any shape you want well at least like a spheric shape so what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a bit and then we're gonna take this here we're gonna take it and i'm gonna blur some of like his face maybe this is gonna be a better option right here and then you could take these right here and it'll It'll, like make it less blurry or more blurry so i'm gonna take these and then i'm gonna delete that one right here we're gonna take this a little bit more inside and then i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller there you go and then we can probably put a little bit of bouquet on it but not like crazy amount uh well not you know what never mind yeah no no bouquet but uh okay. we can press okay and then now it looks much better as you can see like if i control z it it just looks weird wait hold up okay so for the blur gallery we can i'm basically gonna try to blur outside of his head because it's too like um sharp it's too like a straight cut so we're gonna go to um it's called blur gallery iris blur and then you can like adjust it accordingly so you can make it like more oval shape more circle shape um whatever you want it has to be a spheric, spheric shape so we basically don't we don't want to like put it straight on the face because it's just not gonna work um so basically we need to uh, make it the size of of the owl itself and then we basically want it to be on the outside of oh we can't we actually can make it uh square i didn't know that but we can do this and we basically want to like blur the outside of the um the owl part so here we can we could do that so we can click okay on that so we can add another one as well so there's like a little uh nail thing thumbtack thing so we can put it here and then we can make sure it doesn't get like this part doesn't get blurred out because if we don't then it's gonna look bad so we can do a little bit here just make sure it's not all the, all the way here maybe extend it a bit put the blur down nothing crazy like that and then this part won't be blurred because of this one right here so i think it should be fine 
fine now we're gonna add another one here i think this should work so basically we're gonna move this onto that we're gonna basically move it on the face and then nothing else is blurred because of the other one but we're gonna blur this a lot maybe just on the top part right here so we can just take it smaller and then we can rotate it put it here and then this one will probably blur it a lot i don't want it to be nothing crazy but that should be fine another way we can probably do it is just duplicating it and then just blurring it um automatically so it basically looked like that so like that we could put it over the whole thing we can take this we can control j it we could put it on this one right here flipping mask it and then we can uh shift hold sh hold shift right here and then click exposure one copy and then control e so we can take that one up here and then now we can um basically uh blur we can basically delete everywhere we don't want it blurred so we might want some here so wherever you don't want it blurred just delete it or erase it and then so basically we don't want like the top parts of it blurred so uh maybe down here <laughs> okay and because we did a mask we can if you want if you don't like like say right here i don't want this part of it blurred or i do want it blurred you can click x and it changes the co color as you can see on, on the left side this is the color so when you're on black it takes it back all that blurriness it takes it back so you can like basically um you basically don't won't make any mistake um like if you do make a mistake you can just bring it back so it's gonna be fine okay that should be fine now for here i think i'm just gonna control j e all of it and then just take this bottom one off so now it looks kind of like that you could probably just honestly just delete some of this part here so basically just do that because the uh, line is so harsh you probably just like erase a little bit of it like that and then just do whatever you want just do whatever you want like that so okay yeah so this these clouds right here i think i'm just gonna um you can control you this colorize and then you can saturation up and then you could like do that i think i'm gonna put it a bit darker than the actual sky so it'll be kind of like that okay for now for the then you what you can do as well is you could just group this with control g um same method here and we could just rename it like uh backup owl so this is how it looks without the without the owl eyes and this is how it looks with it so basically we can just probably for now we can try putting some color onto this or just like normal like just some like screen lighting or something so we could just do this take it back to the original brush we'll probably just do um i think we're gonna do the darker colors first so maybe something like that and then that's how i usually do my lighting so do that and then you do the orange color but in a smaller thing linear dodge and then you take the brightest color probably more something like that this take something like that something like that um i think for the bottom one i'm gonna so this one right here or is this one okay yeah this one right here um you can control u it and then you can change the hue a bit so i'm gonna put like negative 16 uh, i want to make it more red and then there you go okay so we made the sun a bit brighter by putting the exposure up so that's how it looks it looks like a dark moon but okay so for this light right here um it comes from up here so it's gonna reflect in the water um i don't really like how bright it is so i'm gonna just basically click on the background layer so this layer right here and then there's this brush right here it's called the spot healing brush tool it's like on the side right here you can also click j and then you basically just want to color it in there you go so it's basically gone it's legit like the easiest thing to do if you want to like take something off um from the uh thing down here now we want to start adding the lighting so usually is i legit just color in from like over here but we can clip a mask uh layer 14 here and then we can just like color it like that but i don't know i don't really like okay so for the lighting we could do hue and saturation you clip and mask it again um you colorize you put it at like a blue color again but you put the lightness up you take a soft brush and then you put the flow at 100 percent and then you put the opacity a bit down then you start coloring it at first you're gonna want to have the opacity actually a little bit less so you're gonna want to start doing this i mean i'm not gonna like take crazy time on doing the lighting but yeah but yeah i'm gonna just keep it like a little speed of me doing it
All right, boys, this is the final product. I really hope you guys did, in fact, enjoy the video and found it somewhat useful. Um, I hope to do more tutorials like this in the future. Uh, editing does take a long time for me because I don't really, like, enjoy doing it. Um, I don't have, like, an editor or anything. But, yeah, guys, I really hope you guys did enjoy. I'll try to get more videos out. I know I took, like, a week break. So, uh, I need to get more consistent again. But, yeah, um, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, this is the final product. All I did extra was camera on it and do some other cool effects like some particles but yeah you saw it in the speed art i really hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like hit the subscribe button uh make sure to watch my other videos if you haven't already but anyways guys peace